Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this video we are going to look at how to use tabs in Microsoft Word. So tab stops have been around forever as a way of aligning content within a Word document. We're going to look here in this video at two ways of creating but then also editing and removing them. Those two ways will be to use the ruler and to also use the paragraph dialog box. So for starters, if anyone does not have their ruler visible on their document at all times at the top, you may wish to click the view tab and check the ruler box about a third of the way in on that tab. Mine is already checked, so my both horizontal and vertical rulers are displayed at all times. By default, the ruler is kind of like semi-displayed nowadays. It's not there permanently unless you ask it to be, which is easily done and also easily removed. So there are five different types of tab stop within Word. And we're going to look here at how to create all five and the difference between them. They go by the names of left, center, right, decimal and bar. And you can see which tab stop you're about to use at any given point by the icon in the top left hand corner of your screen. So as I hover over this little button in the top left hand corner, it tells me that I currently have the center tab, which looks like an upside down T. And if I click that button, every time I click it, the icon changes to a different type of tab stop or indentation icon. And if I keep clicking it, I end up at the left tab, which looks like a letter L. And to insert a left tab, all I need to do is click on my document, say two and a half, where I'd like that left tab to be positioned. I can then click on that tab icon again, and that will move along into the next type of tab. And that is the center tab. So once again, if I want to insert a center tab, let's say I want it on the six position, I just click on my ruler and the center tab appears and so on. Now I'm going to insert all five types of tab here so that we can see what it is that they do. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not here saying that's what you should do. You'd use the ones relevant to your needs, which is typically the left tab and maybe center or right. It's typically just the left tab. But this is how we can change each one and view maybe what's going on with an existing document as well. So if I click it again, I'm now on the right tab. I'm going to position one of them on the kind of nine kind of centimeter position there. And I click it again, I'm on the decimal tab. Let's put that on maybe that 11 position. And if I press it again, I'm on what's called the bar tab. And I might put one of those in the 14 position. So I've got all five types of tab displayed. And you can immediately see what the bar tab does. It just kind of draws a line down them paragraphs. So I've got a vertical line on that paragraph and a paragraph space now. Uh, and that's what a bar tab does. So I can leave that on bar tab or can always click it back round again. Uh, that is just the icon for the tab you're about to insert. Okay, let's see these in action. Let's type in some information. So I might just type some information here and press my tab key and that will jump to the next tab stop, which is a left align tab. So any information I type here will be left aligned to that tab stop. Now I'll press my tab again and now on the center tab, so I could maybe type uh, the name of a color maybe, and it is center aligned to that tab. That's probably not too clear at the moment. Maybe I scroll it down, this document, you can see, look, it's center aligned on that tab. Press again, I've got a right aligned tab. Let's type the name of a different color. Press again, I have the decimal tab. So I'm going to type a number now so we can see the use of decimal, putting in decimal points, and that will align it with the decimal place. And with the bar tab we've seen. So, let me put in a couple more paragraphs of information to see them in action. Let me type location and make up a location. 
bit of a mistype there, but I'll leave that as it is. Let's type a different color with a different size name. So we can see the center line really taking effect now. And the right align. And then a the decimal. Much bigger number. You can see it aligning up the decimal places. Not center aligning the numbers, line up the decimals. And so on and so forth. Let me just put in one more piece, one more line of information, one more paragraph. Um, trying to remember what the date was today. There. A colour, another colour, and another number, let's just say one. So we can clearly see the difference between the three types of tab. Now we can edit any of these tabs at any point. I could highlight the paragraphs that contain the tab stop, which is just these three at the moment. I could just drag that tab, and any information it's positioning will move with it. So whether it's a short-term or long-term reason, you know these tab stops can be edited quite easily in the future. To remove a tab stop, you would highlight the paragraphs you want to remove it from. Click on the tab on that ruler and simply drag it onto your page and that can remove it. You see the bar tabs disappear. And then to finish off this video, I mentioned that I was going to show one other way of viewing like where tabs are and creating them and changing them and removing them. And that was to go through the dialog box approach. Now, Microsoft have kind of got rid of the tabs from the dialog box, where in versions gone by, you used to just click a format menu and there'll be a tab option right there. Now, it's not been kind of removed, but it, it's been kind of hidden a little bit more because they're not as common as they once were with people preferring tables nowadays for structure. But to use it, I could click the dialog box launcher arrow in the corner of my paragraph box here to open up the paragraph dialog box. And in the bottom left, there's a tabs button. And if I click that, I can view the tabs that have been used. And as I click on each of these, notice the alignment option below telling me the name of that type of alignment, that type of tab stop. As you can see, I've got the opportunity here to set or kind of create new tabs and also to clear. So I could, for example, click on my center tab and clear that right now. And that will clear it from the paragraphs that I've got selected at this point. Gives us a more accurate measurement maybe than the ruler, uh, which is a good advantage to this kind of stuff. We can set them by typing in the measurement and setting. I've also got a clear rule, so I could remove all the tabs quite easily from now. If I click OK, I can see only from the one I had highlighted that the center tab has disappeared. If I click on one of the other paragraphs, it still exists. And I can remove that either via the ruler, as we mentioned before with a dragging off approach, or by using the tabs button within the paragraph dialog box. And that is tab stops in Microsoft Word. Although I mentioned during that video tutorial that you know they're not maybe as commonly used as they once were, they're still a, a relatively big player in, in Word. They're a great way of aligning content and still a bit of a go-to uh, feature and still quite widely used and known. Although they quite, are slowly fading in popularity and in use. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of the other tips and tutorials on computergaga.com or on our YouTube channel.